who is this not for? Because this product is definitely not for everyone. I can tell right off the bat. But let's kind of identify why you wouldn't want to get this particular debt tool, maybe something else, right? Mm -hmm. Starting with the simple fact, does this bank do business in all 50 states or are we limited? You know, kind of break that down for us. Yep. So right now we can do first lien HELOCs in all states except for Texas, for Maryland, Hawaii, and Alaska. Got Texas it. has funny HELOC laws. Maryland, well, funny isn't the right word, but a little bit different, right? Maryland has a law rule that says that you have to have a brick and mortar in their state to be able to do loans in their state, even with right. federal loans. And then Alaska and Hawaii, they just kind of, they're the unlucky two that because they're not in the 48 continental. I guess it's just harder for, you know, to, to support collateral, that kind of stuff. So yeah. uh, those are the states we can't do. Um, our minimum draw amount is 100,000. So we can go to 90%, which means that in terms of the valuation of the house, I would put that at about 112,000. You're, you're, you're talking about LTV, right? How much? Yep. So, it acts so at 90%? Correct. So, yeah, good point. Thank you. So we can go to 90% LTV up to a line amount of 750. Being the max. Being the max line amount, correct, which equates to about an eight hundred thirty-three thousand dollar valuation. Yeah. Now we can go to eighty percent LTV up to a million dollars, and then we can go to seventy percent up to one point five. Most people are in that ninety percent range. If that Got makes it. sense. Does the rate so, change the higher we go? No. No, it's a standardized rate calculation. So okay. that's one thing that's different about this particular product is that we didn't use what, what's called risk-based pricing. So a lot of times when you hear about things like that, where the line amount goes up and the rate goes up, right? Or you're, you have a lower credit score and the rate goes up, or you have a better credit score for the rate going down, mm -hmm. that's called risk-based pricing. So basically with the additional risk that comes from certain scenarios, yeah. they increase the interest rate. That isn't how ours works here. Um, ours is strictly a, a six-month T-bill plus 4.5 for everyone that qualifies for the loan.